Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Nottingham, England, Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lee's kick is blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Good punch. Also, the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Oh, and he lands another knee there. You see, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. 
fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Circling to his right. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and both guys really throwing with authority. Drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just over three minutes to go. Big punch lands through the middle. Midway through round one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big head kick lands. He's back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Oh, level change. Nice trip to get the takedown. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Head kick blocked. Big kick lands. all about that left kick to the body. Lee gets the tie clinch here. And they separate. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it. And he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Misses with the left hook. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Keep your hands up. Use your foot right now. It's okay. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fight. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them, guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with that exact shot earlier in the fight, and he feels like he can still target that area to great effect. 
Nice defense there. Huge block. Nice punch win. Nice combination there. Over and over. Big body kick. And now he's got the tight Nice one, two there. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, and he caught the kick. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with his beautiful leg kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. And there comes the separation now. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. And he switches to southpaw. Nice loop and punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Yeah. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. And they separate. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice kick. with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. You see him still standing. That just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. He just missed with the left there. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land a straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Not there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Can't take many of those. You better check. the left hand. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Misses with that punch. 20 seconds left. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Beautiful strike. Still nice body kick. Line. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round.
All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. there with the left. Punch over the top. Look at the angle of that nice body. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Come on, give me some more. Let's go, guys. Work. Just a slip there. Massive head kick. Three minutes to go. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. All right, let's go. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and they separate. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause pressure. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize that he's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big body kick. Real quick leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lee. Nice head kick. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh, straight right. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, no shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. And this might just be a matter of time. of this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game. 
that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 17 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, we do a guillotine choke. Bruce, the Dragon Lee! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight. But he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.